good afternoon, YouTube, or rather, good evening. Um, I just got back from a trip to my local tractor supply, and local. <laughs> um, I picked up 10 more pounds of Hobart 7018, and this, a, I picked up a chop saw. I guess you already know that by looking at the title of this video, but anyways, I bought the Porter Cable PCE700 chop saw, and you know, without further ado, we're going to take my nice all the way box cutting knife here. We're going to slit this stuff. Off the back, off the box. I'm going to take this stuff off the box. And I guess we just got to slice right into it. Now, this quarter cable stuff is generally pretty high quality, and uh, this got seemed to get pretty good reviews, and uh, so here we go. First thing we have in the box is the instruction manual, um, and I'm just going to kind of thumb through it here, and it actually seems to be a really nice manual. It looks thick, but it's, um, I'm pretty sure it's in at least two or three languages. So anyways, manual, really nice touch. I've got things with terrible manuals before. Well, anyways, let's open up the box some more. What do we get? Just a bunch of cardboard. It's just going to check to see if there's anything in the cardboard and nothing. And here is the chop saw itself. Now, I'm pretty sure this thing weighs at least 40 pounds, uh, if not more, so I'm going to try and lift it. Oh, that was just bad. You see, guys, it wasn't that bad. Oh, God. You know what? Let's get this thing on my table. I'm, just, I'm going to kind of go through the box here, see so if there's anything I missed. Looks like there is some, something, and nope, there's... As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing else left in the box. So uh, I'm gonna go. Put, I'm gonna put this thing on my welding table, and I'll be right back when I do. Let's. All right. So we got it on my welding table here, and uh, we might as well just take the plastic off of it. Uh, there's the uh, something in there. It said it came with a wrench. I don't know where that is, but uh, I'll find it. So we're gonna lift it up off of one end. This way, make sure there's nothing except a piece of silica gel and plastic. We're gonna put the plastic away. And um, how is this thing held down? Is we got this block here, just a nice piece of styrofoam, and it said it came with a wrench. I don't see one, but. Uh, Anyways, I don't know what it's being held down by, so let me uh, figure that out quickly, how to uh, release it. And then uh, we might as well get to uh, trying it out. So this might actually be the key. Um, just a big Allen wrench, and I'm pretty sure that's what changes the wheel out. So pretty sure that's the key. Anyways, I'm going to figure out how to get this thing um, off. I'm going to look through the manual. And then we'll be right back, and uh, I'll uh, sort of give it a look over. Let's go. All right, so I got the saw unlocked. Turns out all I had to do was to press this down a little bit, this arm, and then pull that little pin, which is covered in oil. This thing's got a little bit of oil on it. Probably not good, but I can just uh, take a uh, rag and wipe it down. But anyway, so well, let's go over it. We got this nice uh, uh, steel construction base. Um, it's not half-inch plate. But it's not total sheet metal. I'm guessing it's about an eighth of an inch thick. And we have this part right here, which we can crank down on. But the cool one of the cool features, flip that out. And now I can adjust as needed. And the handle, very nice. Um, this is the uh, wrench. Um, and uh, so we'll move down here. In, in here, uh, let's see if I can't actually have a pen right here that may or may not help. Reach into my 
drawer. See if it still works. I don't know, but um, as you can see here, it's kind of flickering, probably because I've left it out here for so long. But we have degrees from 15 to 45 right now. I'm pretty sure we're at zero degrees, so you know, 90 degrees from uh, the work to from this to the work. And uh, this this part swivels. And as we go up here, we have this heavy duty spring. And right up here, we have this D handle with a switch. You push it down. And it, uh, and it goes in, so, uh, you know, and I really like the color scheme, you know, it's got the dark gray and then the white porter cables really stepped up their game from the other tools of theirs I've seen. Um, I would have gone to Home Depot and bought the Rigid, but I had some uh, gift cards at Tractor Supply, and, you know, this thing looks really great. So, without further ado, I'm going to put my camera back on the tripod, and I'm going to show the entire process. I'm going to square the blade up, and uh, then we're going to clamp us uh, just some scrap pieces and maybe some rebar or what have you in there and uh, we'll slice it out. All right, so uh, I got it all squared up. I'm gonna put on my uh, 3M respirator, put it out my glasses. And uh, we're gonna go grab some, uh, just some stock here. First thing is first, I guess we gotta plug the thing in to my outlet. We're gonna put our earpiece in and we're going to uh, test fire it up for the first time ever. Well, they should have tested it at the factory, but you know, first time I'm firing it up. So let's do it. Holy crap, that was awesome! <laughs> so we have some 8-inch uh, stock, we got some 16-gauge uh, square tubing, so we're going to cut the tubing up, we're just going to cut a little bit off of it. Alright, you know, there's only one thing that we have left to do, and that's to cut it. Let's do it. Would you look at that? Square. That was so fun. Here we go.
No big deal. Now we're gonna try some eight pin flat bar. Okay, so I'm gonna find a different piece of material, check it up on the saw, and uh, we'll slice it out. Let's do it. All right, we got some of this rebar here. Just gonna uh, get it clamped up and this awesome vise. We're gonna see how well this does against some half-inch re steel rebar. Let's do it. Just gonna put my gloves on. Let's go. That was that was awesome. Okay, so that's my uh, sort of first impressions of the Porter Cable um, uh, chop saw. For a hundred bucks, it's not, it's an incredible saw. You just have to see how long it lasts. One thing I could say is they might be able to make better abrasive, but I use this blade for as long as I can, and then I'll replace it with like a nice DeWalt or Diablo blade or something like that. So anyways, I'm going to continue to play with this thing some more. I absolutely love this thing. What little I've used it, I love it. Use this feature. Pull out this uh, rebar here, that's still on. And, uh, yeah, so, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Please rate, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you can, as always. This is Subdue 350 signing off, guys. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!